Yeah, a Boston and Edmonton Stanley Cup final would absolutely be an instant classic. So the Oilers win 3-2 after being down by a two-goal deficit in the first period. They got goals from Evan Bouchard, Ryan McLeod, and Darnell Nurse with the game winner late in the third. And going into the game when I was looking at the lineups, I was kind of wondering why Clem Costin wasn't playing tonight. He was a scratch and Shorzy was in. And yeah, on that McLeod goal, I was reminded why Shorzy was in the lineup. He made a wicked play being able to get the puck out to McLeod, who was able to tie the game at two. Stewie was rock solid. He was eating the pucks, not giving up a lot, and there was a moment where where Ekholm gave the puck away, Boston had a shot, Stewie just at the end of the crease, makes the save, no rebound, definitely some solid goaltending, and that's not a knock on Ekholm. I'm pretty sure he led the Oilers in hits tonight, and kudos to everybody on the team. In the D zone, they were just blocking lanes, they were taking away passes, they, they played a really, really strong game, and Nick Bukestad especially, the way he's just using his size to make certain lateral movements around players, I just, I like how he uses his length and his reach to an advantage that I'm not familiar was seeing because I don't know the last time or if ever we've had a six foot six center. But yeah, Edmonton just looked really, really solid. And that first goal that Bush had, it was a four on one. And even on the chance that Nuge had on a three on one with Drysaddle and Yamamoto later in the third, I thought on both those chances, we'd see a lot of short and quick passes, just one pass to a player and then the shot. So on the four on one, Bouchard gets the puck and he just takes a page out of Drysaddle's book. He holds the puck, looks up, finds the spot, holds it, shoots, scores, wicked goal. The poison confidence that he had when he let that puck rip, just solid. And even on Nuge's shot attempt, I was expecting another one or two quick passes, but I like that they had the confidence to find a spot, take the shot, and at least it worked out for one of those odd man rushes. And Cody CC too, he had some big minutes tonight. He had a couple of shots on goal, and he had some spice in those shots too. I just, I like seeing this team really start to gel together. I just liked everything that I saw from the Oilers tonight. And I don't know about you guys, but even after that burst, I just, I felt fine it felt like at the worst case scenario Edmonton's gonna play another tight game against the Bruins be another good test until they meet again in the cup final and they were able to just continue to grind away at it they got the results that they needed all of their goals came from essentially secondary scoring and McDavid wasn't even on the score sheet and actually out of all their regular point producers on the team only Leon Dreisaitl was on the score sheet with one assist it was a secondary assist on Nurse's game-winning goal otherwise Edmonton got their contributions from their secondary and their defensive scoring but yeah overall really good game 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 67 in Toronto against the Toronto Maple Leafs. And it's just funny that they're playing in Toronto for game 67 of the season. If you know, you know. I'm going to be at that game, so I'm really, really excited. The Mrs. Goddess tickets for that is a Christmas gift a couple months ago. She is a Toronto native, so she's going to be rocking her Matthews jersey. I got my McDavid jersey, which also was a gift from her for my birthday. One of us is not going to have the outcome that we want, and uh, it's not going to be me. I'm looking forward to it. I'll see you guys Saturday night. Peace.